Well, hello and welcome back. We are continuing our series where we're looking at, uh, we're basically going through our SQL and Python tutorial, combining those into our application. And this is episode, we are continuing doing some, uh, some cleanup. We essentially did a uh, pretty much brute force raw kind of script. And now we are going through and cleaning things up, extracting things out into a separate class. Uh, this MySQL synchronized that theoretically we could do it with, uh, you know, have at some point an Oracle or a, a SQL Server, do it very uh, SQL specific. And we're doing some cleanup here and we are getting into our uh, missing indexes uh, is basically where we left off last time. So let's uh, dive right back into it. We're going to do our missing indexes. Same thing. We don't need a tables list now because it's actually going to be, whoop, let's take this and pop that there. And this is going to be, do I still have that? Yep, I do. Okay. So I've got that built. This is going to be self.source tables and should be good there. So we're going to do this again here. And we'll do one more though. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to take this and actually let's go ahead and down to sync rows, create missing column tables. There we go. I'm going to take that whole kit and caboodle there. I don't know if we need all of it. We're going to find out. Um, so we did missing triggers, right? Yep. Now we've got missing columns is good. Um, I don't know we need to return missing columns, but we will anyways. Uh, missing indexes. Is I think all good. Sync columns. Okay, so that's not going to be what we need. So he's going to be self dot source tables. We need our two. Um, interesting. We created these queries again each time. So let's do that. Cursor destination. Cursor destination. There we go. And we're going to do it again. This time we're going to call him update cursor. I know this is not the most uh, glamorous of our tutorials, but uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those. I don't think we need those right now. Uh, let's see. We don't need all those prints. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're coming through. We found our differences. We're building out our stuff. Bam, bam, bam. We are good to go. What is this null string complaining about? Oh, it might be referenced before assignment. Uh, where is... Let's look at... Whoops. Null string equals not null. And let's do here um, let's make him equal to nothing right here there so we should be good uh, he's gonna come around we're gonna do that and we get to sync rows which again is gonna be uh, self we probably don't need a table yeah because we don't need tables this we do want our max rows did I keep that? I did not keep that. My mistake. So let's go back up here. Oh, one more. And we come down here. Sync rows. That's going to be self.source tables. And I think we're all good in here. Do we need anything else? Oh, we don't need that extra there. 
create missing tables. It's going to be the same thing. Whoop. Okay. So this just needs to be self. Uh, sorry. Self.source. And <clears throat> we can get rid of that little comment. Looking good. And then, so here we go. So that's the end of our class, right? That should work. So let's keep the comments here. And we're going over to main. And now we really don't need any of that. Well, I don't know that we're going to need any of that other than we're going to do import. Um, my, let's see. Uh, from DB sync import MySQL synchronize. Okay. And then we're going to come here. basically call it the same way but we're going to come in here and we're going to do a uh, we're just going to call sync equals my sql synchronize and then we're going to do sync dot connect to source sync dot connect to destination we're going to compare the tables, which is probably here. Compare tables. We don't need this. <clears throat> and then we're going to walk through these dot missing tables. Uh, that's actually create missing tables, I believe. Oh, first we need sync dot do we need I guess we do need missing tables so we need missing tables let's go look at that real quick oh because we did oh we need to set missing tables first okay uh, let's see compare tables set missing tables is that how that works so we set the missing compare is based off of these so we have to get the yeah we have to generate compare first okay so that makes sense compare set create um we don't really need that we don't need create missing tables here now we're going to do source uh, sync dot create whoop missing columns and uh, so what we're going to need here is when we do missing columns we need to actually execute it so we weren't executing that I don't think so if we go to uh, db sync missing columns we were returning that let's see let's go ahead and do this and missing columns uh, I print command Uh, really, I can just take the cursor destination. Destination.execute. I can probably do it like that. Okay, so we're going to do it like that. We're going to clean that up a little bit. Uh, let's see, so that's columns, rows. Sync dot sync rows. 
and that's going to be max rows. And then sync dot missing triggers. And he's going to have the two names. And then sync dot missing procedures. There it is. I will give it those two. Uh, let's see, this is going to be sync.missing functions. Go all the way back here. Missing indexes. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll get these last couple. Okay. Sync.missing indexes. Doesn't need anything. Um, So missing indexes is doing the same. I'm going to need to actually build this out. And then we're good. Uh, and so we're going to print uh, application complete. And we're going to go over here. Whoop, I'm going to spell it right. And we're going to go to missing indexes. And we're going to throw that little thing in because it apparently is creating our yeah, so it just does it here. So we're going to come through here for index in. Missing indexes. Uh, let's just do this. We'll do the same thing here. So we're going to do um, self.destinationDB.cursor. Execute. Failed to create. Cursor to close. Boom. And sync columns, is that not being called? Uh, oh, too many blank lines. Oh, well, too many blank lines. Too bad. Um, there we go. Oh, I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. Oh, OK, my mistake. Sometimes it complains. It complains in different ways. OK, this is a silly little cleanup thing. So we now have everything, and it's a very short script that's going to call this. If we call it, it should run the same. Uh, but it's going to give us some issues. So uh, sync.connect to source. Oh, because I probably didn't put, oh, I did put self. Um, not sure. Let's see. Oh, OK, so these need at least that. So all right. So it's a neat little thing. But um, so we'll get that taken care of. And next time around, we're going to continue looking at a little bit of our cleanup here and moving into the next piece. Apologies if we went a little bit long this time, but hey, that's, you know, somehow we've got to go through a couple of these sort of boring things to clean some stuff up and make sure we're, you know, crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. But until next time, go out there, have yourself a great day, a great week, and we will talk to you next time.